Hi, I'm Sarah from Sipping Out of Strings. Now, I usually play the violin, but today we're going to be talking about a different instrument. It's called the guzhen, also known as the Chinese zither. The guzhen is a type of zither, which basically just means that there's a wooden sound box and then a bunch of strings that are stretched across of it. It is not to be confused with the guqing, which is the predecessor of the guzhen. Now that we have all of that cleared up, we can dive right in into learning about the guzhen. Most modern guzhens, like mine, have 21 strings, and the instrument covers a range of four octaves. This is the head of the instrument, and this is the tail. At the head, there's this little box that you can open, and this is where you tune the instrument, using these pegs over here. Between the head and the tail of the instrument are the bridges, which also play a role in tuning. As you can see, you can take them off and remove them. And if you're wondering if I've ever knocked all of them down like dominoes, the answer is yes. Unlike other instruments that you may be familiar with, such as the violin or the piano, the guzhen is tuned to a pentatonic scale. Now you might be wondering, what the heck is a pentatonic scale? Well, let me explain. A pentatonic scale is just a scale where the fourth and seventh notes are missing. For example, let's take C major. You would have the first note, C, and then you would have D, E, and then you would skip F. You would go immediately to G, and then you, you go to A, skip B, and then you back to C. And that is a pentatonic scale. And it sounds like this. As you can hear, the fourth and seventh note are missing. However, this doesn't prevent us from playing the fourth and seventh note. All you have to do is press down on the third and sixth strings of the scale. So, like this. Like so. You might have noticed that I haven't been playing on this side of the instrument. And that's because the strings sound a little weird. Let me demonstrate. That doesn't mean, however, that we don't use this side. We use this side to do vibrato or pressing down strings or other types of techniques. To play the guzhen, we use these nails that we put on tape and then wrap around our fingers. This allows us to have a much better sound than just using our fingers. And as you might have noticed, there's no nail for the pinky. And that's just because we don't use the pinky as much when we play. But that doesn't mean that the pinky isn't important. The last thing I'll be talking about before I play a piece is the music notation. Now most of you might be used to seeing music that looks like this. But actually when you're playing the guzhen, the music looks more like this. I know, it looks really different. Now for the final part of this video, I'll be playing a little bit of a piece called Xue Shan Chun Xiao. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to the Sipineta YouTube channel and comment down below any instruments that you would like to see in the future. Thank you! Bye!